My name is Nate. I do have a history with mental health. Um, I have experienced anxiety and depression in the past more than once. Um, my family have got like a, a history of mental illness, you know, siblings, parents, cousins, uncles, aunties, grandparents. Um, it really is kind of like riddled in, um, in my community, as a matter of fact, not even just in my family. And that's kind of what this first piece um, alludes to, because obviously we are here talking um, about mental health within the black community, quite specifically. Um, so I wanted to um, bring in this first piece, which I have entitled Proximity to Blackness. I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> I've got some syllables for you, but where are you? I can't even see you. Okay. A history of abuse, a child born of a loveless relationship, a product of unbridled teenage lust, children who knew no better, as they themselves were born into trauma. She had an absent mother and a father in prison. He had an absent father and an emotionally distant mother. A match made in the ghetto, they dragged each other into depression until the day I was born. She accepted responsibility. He shrank deeper into psychosis. His parents to him seemed emotionless, distant, unapproachable, everything that he was destined to become. Why couldn't his mother teach him how to love? She was the daughter of two of many enslaved Africans, stripped of their identity and forced to work a Jamaican plantation. Her parents, the recipients of a lifetime of finely tuned hatred fueled violence, lashings that you watched your parents endure before tasting yourself. Robbed of compassion, and programmed with fear, they pummeled their children into shape, preparing them for a world where only the strong survive and the consequences of failure are incomprehensibly disproportionate. Let me just run it off for Bexy again. Incomprehensibly disproportionate. <laughs> Raised beneath the aura of threat, they grew up to be threatening. A trait which manifests in the workplace, on the street, and at home where they claim the respect owed to them using overwhelming force. This is where she was raised, of course. So once she gave birth to my father, she had no idea what to do after. She became distant, emotionally detached. A successful woman in her own right, she threw money at him, widening the gap between them with every passing day, driving him out of the house as a teen where he met my mother, a traumatized enchantress good for a temporary relationship the children introduced to the world, sorry, two children introduced to the world with no thought for their future or even their present. Did we ever stand a chance? It feels as though the condition of my mental health was predetermined as a result of my proximity to blackness. Thank you. Okay, beautiful. So I'm gonna jump into I'm gonna jump into this new one that I've done then. Um, so this piece is entitled Mind Over Matter. Hope you guys enjoy it. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on, Fisky. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped in my mind, walking round, lost in my thoughts. Yeah, I've won battles. Most wouldn't even know I fought. I'm a fighter. I am not the giving up sort. But when I fight myself, I can only come up short. I'm a powerful spirit. You can feel it when I talk. But my flesh gets weak when there's demons at my door. I surround myself with shungai and clear courts, feeling like there's no body I can lean on for support. Dealing with a pressure I don't know how to measure, I turn to my vices in the hope of feeling better. I don't know whether I can deal with this pain. My mind clouds, eyes rain through the storm I'm trying to weather. Yes, it's in my head, but no, it's not imaginary. It feels so real and that's what makes it so scary. I'm alone in the dark, but in a room full of people wondering if I scream, will anybody even hear me? Ah! I'm frustrated. But you ask me what the problem is, I can't articulate it. Everybody's showing love and it's so appreciated, but I just feel fake when I try to reciprocate it. I swear I know my worth, still I'm feeling worth less as the universe blesses every single cursed breath. 
Worse yet, my eyes burn, but I refuse to break down. Why is my head turned into the devil's playground? Got to elevate my mind. My plan sucks, but I'm eyeing up an eight for Ty. A little zoot might alleviate the pain inside. <laughs> Truth be told, I'll do anything to change the vibe. I don't fuck with doctors, though. They prescribe this ease. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't fuck with doctors though, they prescribe this ease. I'm already healing, can't be dealing with your shit, please. I just need to sit, breathe, hit the Elohim switch. Find myself in Nate, Char, Nate, you're a genius. But even with intention, still my spirit feels heavy. My body wants to move, but my brain isn't ready. I'm swaying, but I'm steady, staring into empty space, knowing even if we're family, no one else really relates. See, one thing my mum taught me is that nobody else is gonna fight these battles for me. My two hands must write my own story. So trust I didn't come to get on stage and shout, poor me, this is a tale of glory. <laughs> Surrounded by these spirits, I know no one else can comfort me. Feeling like I'm in hell, I exhale consciously. Depression will not conquer me. I love my temple constantly, so I'm raising up. If it's intentional or involuntary. Left foot, right foot, one step at a time. I'm centering my spirit and inverting my decline, blessing myself with affirmations as I climb, transmuting matter into non-matter with my mind. I'm on it for hours, testing out my powers. Depression is not for cowards. Also, I refuse to lose. Yeah, I've been down, but I'm an overcomer through and through. I could never stay low. My energy is too mutable. <laughs> Balancing my mental health proves that I respect myself. For example, like when the market corrects itself. Balancing my mental health proves that I respect myself. For example, like when the market corrects itself. <laughs> what goes up must come down, but also vice versa. You can't hide from shadows and call yourself a light worker. So I fear no evil as I walk through the valley. Because I know my power and how much weight I can carry. I came under attack, but my strength is uncanny. I'm surrounded by love. How could I be unhappy? Now I'm anti-depressed, giving thanks because I'm blessed. I can breathe easy without the clamp on my chest. I'm not angry or stressed. In fact, no, I found peace. Because three simple words help me really feel free. Mind over matter means matter under mind. Once you recognise the pattern, it's not hard to get aligned. Treat your body with respect, know your spirit is divine. Plus develop routines that will protect you in this time. Keep your thoughts empowering, respectable and kind. Maintain discipline every day that you're alive. See, if you create a culture, then that culture will thrive. You see it? Mind over matter. Matter under mind. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, that was me still. Yeah. <laughs> that was me still. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to run another one because I feel like we've still got some time, right? We've still got a bit of time. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do an older one. I'm going to do an older one for you guys, but it's still it's one of my favourite pieces. It kind of ties the two in together, I guess. Um, it's called Daddy. It's called Daddy Issues. I'm going to do Jollof. I'm not going to do Jollof. Oh, no, this one is called, this one is called Daddy Issues. Um, so it kind of ties the two together. One of my favorite pieces, honestly. When I wrote this piece, I actually wrote myself into depression and then I kind of had to write myself out of depression and that was kind of the journey that I went through when I wrote this piece. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, it's called Daddy Issues. <clears throat> I'll never rate a man that beats women. In fact, I'm more the type to leave a brother's teeth missing. See, I grew up around a father that I couldn't figure. I'd rather call myself a bastard. You could call me bitter. I saw my dad beating every girl that moved in. Truthfully, a youth for me would muse on why they'd choose him. Daddy gave me siblings, but he stepped out on the sisters. Left me with religion, a stepdad, and some issues. I guess it's repercussion when a kick becomes a symbol. Recognize a snare, don't just stick because it's simple. Being ride or die doesn't mean you die to ride. It was music to my ears when a hit would make him single. Stuck inside his crib. Little baby hit the bottle. Went side out, grew my patriarchal role model. 
Frequent use of alcohol would hinder his progression. Send him on a high, then it would lick him with depression. My daddy was a hustler, made his money fast. So the weekends that I saw him, we would always have a blast. But feel my mood swing when I open up my scars because I feel the deepest hate when I think about my past. I'd become reclusive, focused on my music. When I concentrate, I can squeeze creative juices. Candle on the page, see I find it therapeutic to stand up on the stage and say my father was abusive. Truth is it's productive when you think back and reflect because now I've spent a lifetime treating women with respect. Trust me, if we kicked it, you would see I'm not a threat. Car I'm only trying to beat once I deep your intellect. A past I can't forget spells a future unforgiving, but the path that I was set is not the truth that I am living. See, a father figure, I figured my father isn't, so I learned to be a man by doing all the things he didn't. So spare me your applause when you see me holding doors. You ain't got to date me because I treat you like a lady. <laughs> when I'm deep in thought, I hear the black woman is God. And I must say, it's wavy that you took the time to save me. You're witnessing a dynasty, reaping what it's sown. My father was a failure, so I'm fighting to atone. Polishing my crown, and I'm reclaiming my throne, so I'm good to represent when I have children of my own. Thank you very much. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you so much. Thank you everybody.